Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Today, I have with me Betty, who is one of the students here. Now, Betty has an interesting story that I'm going to let you let her tell you. So, you started dancing a while back, yes? Started dancing over 30 years ago. It was my dream. I won. I started in ballet to improve my posture. Yes. And I saw through going by a doorway a couple that was dancing and they were dancing Viennese. And that's what I wanted to do. I fell in love with ballroom dancing. It became my passion, my first love. Then I joined the Air Force. <laughs> and thanks to the Air Force, I had a lapse in dancing. And now I've just come back into the dance world, fulfilling my dream. And it's been two years now. Wow, very exciting. See. I, I love that story because one, she came back to something that she enjoys and that's completely fine because a lot of us need to do that in our lives, whether we're making a dress or whether we're taking dance lessons or, or anything, whatever our passion is, sometimes you just have to take a break. Have you worn this for competition yet? This is a brand new dress that I just got. Okay. I have not worn it. This is the first time. Oh, very good. Yes, just uh, for you. Oh, see, that, this, this is like so. I love doing this live on location stuff. It's so much fun. Now, did you make this dress? No, okay. I did not make the dress, but I do stoning, so I've added some stones to the Okay, dress. because there are quite a lot of stones on it. So did you add the stones to the blue or to the bodice? I added to the bodice where you have the gold stones. It had just the AB before. Okay, I like the gold in there because typically for me anyway whenever I see a, a rhinestone dress or whenever I rhinestone dress I like for the stones on the body to mimic the color of the fabric because then it doesn't interfere it creates sort of a nice little background as opposed to creating a focal point so I think adding the what is it golden topaz it's or golden, golden topaz in there with the ABs is good because then it, it makes it, it mutes it so that the skirt, which I think is a great focal point, and the necklace and the lace is really the true focal point. Now, this I love, love, love iridescent fabrics. This is a super lightweight iridescent organza. There are whoop, one, two, we have three layers of this. And the, the really beautiful thing about iridescent organs is that, that they're lightweight, they're soft, yes. they're almost um, a chiffon or overseas what you call a georgette, but yet it's got this tiny little bit of stiffness and it can always have more shimmer than just the regular chiffon. So I love this. Um, did the necklace come with the dress or did you buy no, it? I bought the necklace. Okay, separate. it's really beautiful because it, okay, so it matches your earrings, that makes sense. And then if I can move your hair, please, ma'am. All right, so the lace goes up and over on both sides. This is, um, this is a nice little twist on a classic neckline. If I could have you turn that way, just the perfect. There you, there you go. So this is a fairly conservative neckline as far as where the fabric goes. And what the lace does, which is very clever, is that the lace creates a much longer line and does not accent where the actual fabric is. So it gives the illusion of a plunging neckline without showing skin. I think that's highly effective. Um, this down here, um, this sort of mimicking lace works well on Betty because she is tall. Something like this would not work well on someone my height because there would be so little room <laughs> between the lace pieces. It would just make me look shorter. So as you're choosing a dress or designing your dress to make it yourself, keep that in mind. These parallel things work, work on taller people, not so much on shorter people. If we could take a look at the back, please, ma'am. Let's, let's, let's break this down actually a little bit. So if we turn, if I have Betty turn sideways, now she has what's called thora, um, thoracic kyphosis so that she's got some curvature in her spine. It could happen for any normal, uh, any number of reasons. A lot of people have it, but we have her designer. Did you have this custom made or did you buy it ready made? I bought it ready made. You bought it ready made. All right, so this actually has a few aspects that are really very good for your shape, Betty, and I don't know if you chose this intentionally or not. So. I did. Okay, good. 
<laughs> with this, so if I remove the lace piece, you, it re, you can really see the shape, how her shoulders are rounded out. But with this lace piece dangling off the back, it creates an optical illusion. So what you look at is this little piece moving around here instead of the shape of her spine. So what she just did was drew the eye away from an area that she probably does not want most of us looking at. So this is highly effective, but yet really simple. You can always add this to your dress. If you have a similar um, thoracic kyphosis and you are buying a dress that's wide open, this is very easy for you to make and add yourself, even if you don't know how to do a whole lot of sewing. Um, did this drape come, or the dress come with this drape also? Yeah, okay, so again, this, in truth, this dress doesn't even actually, on Betty's body anyway, this dress doesn't even really need this drape. So if she ever wanted to change the look of the dress to sort of freshen it up, all she would have to do would just be take off the drape and it would still be a highly effective dress. As it is, if you keep turning. I mean, drapes are always very elegant. It just creates this nice little movement as she moves around. But if I move it so that you can see the back, once again, we have this same shape. Now, the one thing that I would like to see as a designer, because on the front, they did such a nice job of making this to a point, I would love for the back to continue down and have the same lace point, both sections, but it's cleverly camouflaged by the drape, so eh, no big deal. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> Right? Uh -huh. so, so that's actually a good point. So if you ever decide to remove the drape to change out the look, then you might want to try to get more lace pieces right. and then lengthen that V so it's a nice shape like the two front ones are. How do you feel wearing this dress? It's very comfortable. Okay. It's very flowy. On a ballroom competition floor, you want the iridescence mm -hmm. because they do pay a lot of attention to your feet. Yes and then the shimmer in it is really eye-catching. That's actually my favorite part of the dress, really, because it's one of my favorite fabrics. That, and then you have a bracelet. Do you have, so you're doing American style? Yes. American smooth in this, yes. Do you do standard as well? Not yet, but I will be. Okay, so having these little bracelets, the reason I asked, is would be really easy to make um, detachable floats so she could convert this to a standard gown if she wanted to. And but I have the fabric, they sent it with this that matches. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Uh, see, ladies, this is why I share this information with you. This is perfect. You knew to ask. You were already thinking in advance, and then you're not scrambling. Oh, I need four yards or four meters to make floats because you've already got it. Thank you again to Patsy and everyone else at 360 Entertainment Powerhouse yes. in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. <laughs> That's just a mouthful, the whole kit and caboodle. And thank you to Betty so much for, for letting me talk about your dress. And that's it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address, and I'll make sure you always get these videos. Lastly, leave a comment. What's your favorite clever trick that you've done to make sure that you have longevity in your dress? such as with Betty, where she knew in advance she was going to want extra material to make floats. Perfect. So leave me a comment below and make sure you share the video. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you again another time. Is it recording? It is recording. Ricola! You remember the cough medicine? <laughs> I, I entertain myself, especially when I'm filming alone. Sometimes I'll make, I'll like start quoting Monty Python. Sometimes I'll sing the Ricola song. It's, I, I give you all in the sewing school, I give you like crazy bloopers sometimes. <laughs> but I usually tell you it's coming so you're not caught off guard. <laughs> oh, let me turn this around so I can make sure we're in the camera.